Almost five years ago, the YouTube algorithm decided that Hypixel Skyblock was the game that I am going to be stuck in for the rest of eternity. So, I've spent <laughs> a ridiculous number of hours playing said game. Now, you saw the title of thumbnail. That's not clickbait. I actually have that many hours of playtime in a game. And the sad part is, this is only on my Iron Man profile. I have other ones too. In total, over 10,000 hours in this game in the past five years. I'll let you guys do the math on how many hours a day on average that is. It's an unhealthy amount. Anyways, I'm here today because this video is showing just what gameplay is like for someone like me that's been playing this game for so long. What's left for people that have been playing for 4,300 plus hours and one thing that you're not going to see in this video is how many hours there are between every clip. Just to make this video, it's most likely a solid 500 hours of gameplay. So make sure to hit that like button. Actually, I... Wait, Rebecca, forget I said that. For reasons I'm not going to get into right now, I was forced to spend $1,000 on a sandwich. The video is over here. If you want to see that. No, it was not for content. No, it wasn't me doing something goofy for a video. I genuinely was forced to pay $1,000 to eat a turkey sandwich. So, there you go. Since that happened, I gotta sell some mouse pads. We're selling some desk mats. You can see one right here. The 30 Virus Memory Leak Desk Mat. It is absolutely massive, covers your entire desk, and has an affordable price tag on top of being a genuinely awesome product. I'm not going to say more on that because if you're not interested, you've already skipped what I'm saying right now. So if you are, make sure to click the link in the pinned comment description. That helped me out a lot. They go away permanently on March 4th. After that, can't get them anymore. Some other stuff I want to clarify. If this is your first time ever seeing Hypixel Skyblock, about 20 million coins, I would say, is the equivalent of an hour of someone going out of their way to get money. So just putting that in perspective. So if I buy some Something worth 100 mil that's five hours of going specifically for money if i wasn't going specifically for money it could be four times that eight times that many hours to get that much money and another thing you'll notice is that pretty much everything i do in this game is for the purpose of increasing my skyblock level getting xp and passing everybody else and getting a certain rank on the leaderboard for me that rank currently is around 117 so i'm just shy of top 100 again but yeah so there's all the context you needed enjoy some crazy clips including two billion coins worth of rng drops just casually 1.5 to 2 billion coins 50 hours per billion coins so there you go <laughs> cleave six let's go I'm about to do something that I've never done before. We're gonna upgrade a piece of uh, Kuja armor to the next tier. And I think it's gonna be the terror chest plate. Hot terror chest plate, let's go. I think I'm about to run out of essence though. Yeah. Nice. Ancient hot terror. Noticeably better than the, uh, the regular armor. Not by much, but it's some. Um... Ooh, that's good! Oh my god, that's like one of the best T7 books in the entire game. Just get me out of here, I don't care. I got what I want and I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm saving that one for the Claymore. Should I put that in my backpack for net worth? I think I'm gonna, the both of these. Did I just... Oh, the guild's gonna be... Yes. I just got another one, dude. Oh no, that's Cleave 6. Oh, that's even better. That's for the Terminator, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, we already have a Power 7 on that. Oh, 199 levels. Where is it? I want to see it. There it is, Cubism 6. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to turn this one into whatever the primary term is once I get something better than Soul Eater. We don't even have Overload 5 on it. That's hilarious. I've been doing some thinking. This is gonna be a... potentially a 30 virus moment. But maybe not. Most likely it is. I was saving this book for Claymore, but upon talking to a bunch of people, Claymore is not used for much. In this game, it's very niche. Pretty much its only use is LCM, which 
to be honest i don't know if i'm ever going to do other than as like a i don't know just to test the waters type thing so i've been using this hyperion pretty much since the second i got it and it's freaking awesome but the problem is my damage needs some work now obviously i'm using a sheep pet not greg i'm not in full god roll 10 10 three fourths aurora with uh wither goggles whatever but i think i should just add this to the hype as far as i know giant killer 7 does apply on right click and i also believe cleave does critical obviously doesn't because it's mage damage but at this point i mean a critical seven would probably at this point only benefit me if it was on one of the blaze daggers and since it's already stuck in this book i i think i'm just gonna i think i'm just gonna put it on the high period if anything, it's a flex. That is indeed a flex. Wish I can actually like see it though in the UI. It's so big, I can't even read it. I need to see what the net worth calculation is or what the value is in museum. Two point, almost 2.8 billion just in one freaking weapon, dude. That's absolute insanity. I guess next, if we ever get it, scavenger five smoldering five smite seven venomous six cubism six and i'm sure there's a few t7s in here that i haven't gotten yet i don't know how much of a boost to damage that will give me i was doing about 2.2 mil before what there's no way it makes that big a freaking difference just the giant killer just the giant killer that's almost three mil damage. No. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Another one? Oh, guild chat's gonna be mad. I genuinely don't even need it. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna get a second term someday, I suppose. So I guess there it is. Power seven for the second Terminator. <sighs> Burger number four. Just burned up the entire meter, dude. 13,000. <sighs> oh my god. Another RNG? That's my second vampire dentist relic. This is gonna be my rift one now. Of course, this is the clip where I lost my audio. My mic must have been off. I dropped my fifth burger there. It's hard to see. But one thing that's cool about Skyblock is that once you have five burgers in the rift, that means that you can get the maximum value out of selling things at the moat grubber. And if I'm gonna get a rift prism and an undead cat food, whatever it's called, I'm gonna need a total of nine million moats. I've been saving up materials. Oh, and while we're while we're waiting for the clip to finish without audio here, I, I should remind you guys that if you wanted to buy anything in the Hypixel store, you can use code 30 buyers for 5% off. Hey, there it is. I figured I might as well get to 100% because I was at like 85% after getting all of the enchanted acacia for, um, I, I believe giraffe pet for the taming level. But yeah, uh, washed up souvenir. GG. <coughs> Nice. Now, I believe there's only one more pet. Ah, Squid Pet was the last one, which isn't really that important. Another milestone's been hit. Getting some annoying crap out of the way. And I have just acquired three stacks of Griffin Feathers. Eight enchanted gold blocks eight enchanted ancient claws and a stick that is the sword of revelations acquired it's a lot of griffin feathers arguably worth it boom and i don't believe i get any skyblock xp for that i don't but what i did get skyblock xp for that i didn't disclose was i made the fisherman set that just came out not very noteworthy wow i literally got nothing for that that's sad another washed up souvenir and i believe the last one boom and just like that every pet used for fishing has a washed up souvenir on it one two three 
four, five. There you go. <laughs> Ah, nice. One more of those and I've Chimera 3. <gasps> oh my god, finally. A bell pet dropped. That is the most underwhelming chat message that I think I could possibly... Bro, it doesn't even pop up in my inventory. If I had my sounds off, I might have missed that. Yeah, I've been killing bows for the past, like, hour and a half. I got my bestiary to, like, 11. Just to get this stupid pet for the taming level. That's effectively, what, 10 skyblock XP for the taming level cap. 20 XP for the actual skill level itself, so, like, 30 XP. It, my guess is anywhere from 30 to 40 XP. Give me the pets. There it is, and it's epic. Let's go. That's not even that bad. <laughs> and then the lobby freaks out. <laughs> That's funny. I guess next up is gonna be Dark Auction for Jellyfish? Or Wisp? Or both? Are you serious? And now I drop another one just so I could finish the beast. <laughs> I just got a second bow pet like five minutes after the first one. And again, I'm only here just to finish the bestiary tier. I didn't even want that. I'll keep it anyways. Well, I screwed up. <laughs> I dropped two bookworms favorite books today and I didn't clip them because I anticipated that dropping the fifth one would mean that I could finally one tap. But as it turns out, um, you can already do that with four if your book of progression is past skyblock level 340. I didn't know that. So I can already one tap the worms so I don't have to deal with them teleporting anymore, which is amazing. But I also only have four out of five books. So I'm effectively maxed, it, I guess, technically, kind of. Oh my God, I just got the fifth book. <laughs> five bookworms favorite books on a buzzing Infinivacuum Hooverus. That is the maximum damage you could do with a vacuum. I don't even know what the max damage you could do with a vacuum is, so I guess we're about to find out. I hate carpets. Carpets of the war. It's 622. It might go higher if I got my book of progression to mythic, but I don't, that's not happening for a little while. Bing, bing. Why are both car- both guards are called Bob. Also, what the hell? Oh my god. Are you serious? <laughs> are you s Oh, that's one of the items. I need that. Oh god, it's gonna be like 100 mil. No. Lowest spin is 91. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do... I think I'm gonna do like a hundred. Oh my god. 110. Mine. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Sirius. It's actually huge. Giraffe is about to upgrade to Epic, which is the minimum. I dropped a Bow Pet, and then I have a Baby Yeti. I also have an Enderman. Black Cat, I'm close. I just need candy to buy it. I'm surprised I haven't already, to be honest. <clears throat> All that leaves is Spirit, which... Spirit and Wisp. Wisp is gonna be a pain, because I need a Vertex, um, I think. But Spirit should be easy. It's only a couple of Floor 4s. So overall, honestly, W. Oh my god. 48 Enchanted Grilled Pork from one minion. It only took... That minion's been there for, like, over a year. <laughs> That's a pigman sword. One of the first times a video did really well on the channel was crafting this on the first lemon profile, so it holds a special place in my heart. And now it's 10 Skyblock XP. <laughs> oh wow, that's actually something that matters. That's a legendary ghoul pet, look at that. I can finally get rid of this crappy one now. My pet score didn't update because I have pets in the pet care system right now, but nice. I also ended up dropping my fifth and sixth golden powder, so now we are ready for alchemist staff minus the emperor skulls and the golden ball. So I'm very happy with this little session I'm doing here of uh, zombie slayer. Did I actually finally drop a snake rune? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, the meme's been achieved. I actually dropped the rarest rune for Zombie Slayer. Oh my god, finally. Oh my god. Oh my god, we got pet. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I literally, this is like my own, like third run. Something pretty serious has just happened. I dropped a spirit pet. Now what that means is suddenly a bunch of the puzzle pieces have fallen into place for getting my taming level really good, really high. The only issue is spooky festivals in three hours, 40 minutes, and that's when I get cat pet. So we're gonna do all this except for cat pet onwards. And then even once we get cat pet, we're gonna get stuck on a wisp because we haven't done inferno minions yet. So have you found the rare frost wisp? And my skills currently, I'm at taming 52. Okay, that means that next is spirit for 5,000 coins. Wow. Yeah, let's go. Giraffe. Oh my god, dude. Next, jellyfish, the one I spent 110 million for, I am selling for 2,000 coins. Bell pet. One of the easiest ones to get, actually. <laughs> this is gross. Baby Yeti. Ah, there we go. I started this at, like, level 370 with, like, halfway. Like, 60 out of 100. So that gave me three levels. Not bad. My global ranking dropped so much before because of this taming update, but now I'm up to date with most people once I get the black cat pet. And it's looking like 119 is where I stay. GG. <laughs> Are you serious? Another spaceman? Spaceman number three? There is absolutely no freaking way. Obviously, it's not going to happen. I mean, do I even need to say that? And it's Cactus, my guy. That's never happening. There is no universe. There is no universe where there would be any inkling of a chance that I do a Cactus Space, man. Oh my god. That's like insulting almost. Dude, I'd be farming Cactus for two years <laughs> to get that Space Helmet. No thank you. Ah, there we go. That is 2,000 purple candy. And black cat pet acquired. And then we immediately give that to Yarge. Ooh, 5 million coins. Ooh. Nice. That was like 40 skyblock XP. That was a lot more than I expected. Now we only have the two more pets to go. I already have the mythic enderman. I just need the wisp upgrade stone to rare, which requires a vertex, which means we need to start doing inferno minions. Great. Oh my god, no way. I was under the impression you had to get all these pets in order. There's no way, dude. There's actually no way. Oh my god. That's so stupid. I mean, it makes sense it's better this way, but I wish I knew. I guess the last pet for Taming 60 is gonna be, uh, Wisp. And there's still a lot of XP on the line, like minimum 40 XP is on the line for that. Well, my ranking and level is increasing quite rapidly. I've gone from ranked 130 back down to 118, and that was before that discovery, so it's probably even lower now. 115, hell yeah. Interesting development. Very interesting development. Uh, shout out Edelp from the guild because I have just been made aware that the store is open for Golden Ball. Boom. What that means is stack of golden and gets five golden plates. Set of diver armor, 32 enchanted gold blocks, five golden powder, 32 enchanted golden carrots, and 
Golden ball. I've been told the NPC is above the bank. Hello. To start out, I'll need some generic gold to experiment on. Next, I need some flat gold to test how reflective gold is. I heard there exists a golden helmet that lets you swim faster. It seems like the first piece you brought me is only 25% of the magical power. Can you get me the leggings? Now I need a lot of compacted gold. It has to be extremely dense. A half stack would do. Interesting seeing an NPC talk about a half stack. There is a fine grained gold substance. Yes, golden powder. Next, I'm going to need a vegetable that is made out of solid gold. Uh, sure. I just need one last thing. There's an extremely dangerous scientist who sells an assortment of items. He has a special rounded type of gold. Jake's a scientist? Ah, yeah, I guess with the plushies. Boom. Finally, my research is complete. I've single-handedly sped up my research by several years. As promised, here is your reward. The Alchemist's Staff does 50 damage, 20 strength, 20 intelligence. Spends Spend coins to cast a projectile which deals 168,400 damage on hit and knocks enemies back. I will use it one, two times just so that we know what this does. I've never used an alchemist staff before. I've never even seen a video about it. So let's... <laughs> Hold on. I want to give this thing a fighting chance. What was that? <laughs> let's try that again, but with an actual mage setup. So it's like a dreadlord sword, I guess. That just did a million damage. Not enough coins. Wow. That... Oh, it wasn't a skull. It was a golden ball. Yeah. Well, that was extremely underwhelming but what else would you expect i did it for the skyblock xp like everything else in this freaking game 10 skyblock xp there is no freaking way dude um what's the chance of that happening fire spiral rune from dusk I didn't even know that could happen. Just hit another visitor milestone, plus three skyblock XP, let's go. And I'm farming carrots because everybody freaking wants them. Also, we're very close to getting level 100 pig. <clears throat> yeah, having an auto pet rule to swap with a fishing rod and then redeeming your visitors and pests with the farming pet is just awesome. Like this pig, went from like practically no xp to maxed within like only a couple days of farming and doing this i just dropped another chirping stereo by the second one um cool if for whatever reason i needed a second <laughs> i literally bro i've been dropping so many repeats i already have four extra bookworms favorite books like honestly i could just make a second fully maxed out drill almost which <laughs> is one more drop Oh my god, this is so stupid. And I have so many of the extra reforged stones, too. Of course, this is the good one. I have, like, four of those. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm guessing you heard that. Dude. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I just realized in the middle of a VC I was in, I was coding on another monitor on my alt account. AFKing. And here it is. We finally have five refined bottle of gyre. Now, I believe... Okay, the chat message isn't there. It, it says that it's evolving, kind of like a, a Pokemon. If you're curious what happens, literally, like, nothing. It, it just goes from epic to legendary, and the description changes. Oh, it grants a permanent plus one intelligence. I didn't know it did anything beyond the Skyblock XP, to be honest. You drank refined bottle of gyre and gained 300 intelligence for 60 minutes. I can't even drink all of them at once? I have to wait the hour? Are you serious? Nice. Well, I was hoping for like this big moment where I drink all five of them, but that's not happening. The final bottle of gyre. Let's go. Whoa! It's over! Wow! Oh my god, the red text turned green. <laughs> Hell yeah!
Oh my god, we can make a we can make an axe with a shredded right now, I think. Oh my god. 22 more damage. 20 more strength. And 8 more crit damage. Wow. And it's one entry in the museum. Oh, there we go. I got a scythe blade, finally. <laughs> this is how desperate I am for Skyblock XP, bro. I set up a platform on my island just to constantly load it and spawn witches. We're gonna get five from doing this. Hell yeah. Oh, would you look at that? Level 100 rat, level 65 owl. I have to spend another 23 mil. That should have contributed to my pet score. I think I need to take this guy back. There we go. Oh, we just got like 10 skyblock XP from doing that. Maybe if I change lobbies, it'll update to even more? No. Nice. Another power seven, bro. I have enough power sevens for every Terminator I'm ever gonna need. If I get any more, I'm gonna have to start spending them on just other bows i don't even i i mean maybe there'll be bow primarily bow based combat in a future update maybe that's not terminator we'll see can i get those gr that um that, there we go thank you <laughs> that's better time to time to brag to guild chat again third one it's the third power seven dude can i get a different t7 book that'd be nice something i can actually use like bro i already i have i already have it dude i have two power sevens two of them are you serious <laughs> oh boy i just dropped a smite seven smite six becomes smite seven Nice. Scythe Blade. Bro, that wasn't even... <laughs> that was like 10 minutes after the Smite 7. Let's go. I just got another Scythe Blade. Let's go. Three out of... I think it's eight. Please be eight. It's eight. I just dropped another Shard of the Shredded. Are you... Are you serious? I got two of them in the past hour. <laughs> I have no purpose for these anymore. I already have the axe. Can I turn them in for two Scythe Blades each? They're... About as rare as five scythe blades each. Okay, maybe not five, probably like three. I should drop a scythe blade any minute now. The meter's like practically full. Oh, there's the scythe blade. Wait, did it not even hit from the meter? No, it did. It hit because of the meter. I've never seen that happen before. It doesn't show the magic find number. That's number four out of eight. I gotta reset it. It is time for another content moment. This is a big one, actually. Pretty decent progress right here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are currently at Skyblock level 375 with 20 XP. And then I do this. Whoo! Plus 12 Skyblock XP, and then immediately at the bartender by a T12. For a stack of Viscera and 2 million coins. That was always a mystery to me why it was so cheap for a T12, but I'm not going to ask any questions. Yes. And that's plus 24 Skyblock XP. So 36 total, not bad. Halfway to the Viscera to finish Reaper armor, and then there's nothing I need revs for anymore other than the the orb the talisman yes scythe blade number five let's go oh my god dude why did i bother using meter on these at all that's my eighth shard of the shredded dude <laughs> i could literally make a second axe of the shredded if i so chose yes six out of eight dude that was like 10 minutes after the last one let's go oh my god i need one more Oh my god, I need one more. Bro, another one? I'm getting all the RNG. Holy crap, dude. I mean, look at this menu. I dropped a Warden Heart after five kills. I dropped eight shards of the Shredded, two Smite Sevens from the Slayer, one from Experimentation Table, 
seven scythe blades working on my eighth. I can't even count how much viscera. Snake runes? Nine snake runes. <laughs> That's enough smite seven to last me the rest of this profile. I don't think there's a single other weapon. I already have it on my Hyperion. I already have it on my Axe of the Shredded. I don't even know what to put it on next. Oh my god, another one? Bro, that's like the third one. 0.05% chance? That's like one in 2,000 chance. For those of you that are curious, when the RNG meter is nearly full, I'm only at about three times the normal chances to drop a scythe blade, which is a little disappointing. I was expecting it to like get really close to like you know, double digit percentages by now because I'm literally only two bosses away from actually dropping one. Oh, and a quick little tutorial for those of you guys doing revs. I found that the best setup for me is three fourths of some melee armor set. If you have a good set of crimson, obviously it's better than Necron. Wither goggles with the slender ability. It gives a good amount of uh, intelligence, which is good for clear. That's what I'm doing with the hype. And then it gives you enough melee damage to still damage the T5 revs. And I'm swapping to a Daedalus Axe with Golden Dragon for magic find. Now, I believe this is, this is the second to last boss, I think. These bosses are going so fast though that it barely makes a difference. It's like 30 seconds per at this point. I cannot wait to force this stupid scythe blade drop. I'm not even bothering with the Daedalus Axe swap because the next kill is gonna guarantee it. To the bitter end, this game decides it's gonna hold on. Oh, 30 virus, you can't, you can't finish a part of the game forever. Rev Slayers. This is the last T5 I'm ever gonna kill. That I spawned at least. Boop, Scythe Blade guaranteed drop done. And with that. Oh, gain a stack of two strength for every mob killed in the last five seconds. Is there no cap on that? Ooh. There's probably a cap on it. Two strength for every mob killed in five seconds. That's not really gonna help me at all. Maybe with Kudra, I guess with Terminator. Most importantly though, it's a talisman, which gives magic power. I'm at 4.25 million rev XP. Nice. That is a snake rune three, hell yeah. How do you even apply it? Just an anvil? No, reforge anvil? No. Oh, it only goes on boots? Oh, that's lame. That's so lame. Well, never mind, I guess. Wow. All right. Well, <clears throat> we're going to go in here. Magic find enrichment. I don't have a recom at the moment, so we're going to have to uh, figure that out. All right. This is one of the more annoying talismans to get. It took like two whole days of grind. I'd probably place it somewhere around here. And now we have to click on every talisman to maintain the proper order. They really need a button to sort all of the talismans by like their magic power and or value. Oh, Jacobus. Oh, no. I hate you. God, it's 12 mil. I just hit a billion coins again, and now we get. Uh, I gotta make 20 mil just so I can do Blaze Slayers now. Reaper chest plate. <laughs> I don't even have enough. Are you kidding me? No. I need three more enchanted diamond blocks. Are you kidding me? Well, off to Dwarven Mines, I guess. Okay, that should be enough diamonds. Luckily, mine of Devon respawning blocks is the best thing ever for Iron Man players, so we don't have to worry about diamonds. I also found some items in the sacks that I could spare. My crop milestones in the garden are still far too low for me to really be worrying about my stockpile of crops, so I'm gonna just sell some. Boom! Six enchanted diamond blocks. Boop, 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 and Reaper boots. Hell yeah. Oh, I took my crops back. Hold on. There we go. 
Ah, uh, we're close to a bill. Four mil more. You know what? Let's do something real painful. Boom. No nether wart left, but we're back over a billion coins for G drag. So let's contribute this to the museum. And with that, that is every last thing that I need from revs. I never have to do revs ever again. Also, that's 16 skyblock XP for one contribution. Are you freaking kidding me? I need that like now. Oh, dude, that would literally get me to the next level. Just one museum contribution. Too bad I'm at the stage of the game where those are hard to do now. But hell yeah. Rev Slayers, finally done. I have to figure out a way to cancel it in stupid Maddox. Oh my god, I was so close. No! Oh my god. No! <laughs> Come on, this is stupid chalice.
Oh my god! Oh my god! The other guy killed it, but I survived. Oh my god! That's a T5 kill. Oh! That was the most difficult thing I think I've ever done in this game. Almost 130 heart rate according to the Fitbit as I'm looking at it right now. 135. <laughs>